by saying, good evening, everybody. I'm Veronica Reynolds. I'm the head of community relations at the New City Library. And I'm so pleased to welcome back Carolyn Inger. Carolyn's performed many beautiful concerts at our library on our piano, but it's been a delight to hear her on her own piano um, this, this past year. And I hope you'll enjoy tonight's concerts. Obviously it's specializing in women composers, which I think is gonna be really fascinating. So take it away, Carolyn. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
wide variety of composers of from different countries and different periods and I'm, I'm curious to see I guess whether anyone has any questions because a lot of these names people haven't heard of certainly I mean we know Clara Schumann was married to Robert Schumann and Fanny Mendelssohn was Felix Mendelssohn's sister older sister apparently he really um, checked in with her a lot about his own compositions and some of his early compositions actually may have been hers. Um, so that's kind of um, the, a bit of the story in women's history that um, that sort of thing happened. And let's see, Meredith Monk, um, Ellis Island, she's an American. She's probably in her, I guess you have the dates there. She might be like in her seventies, eighties or, or so. And Oh, Florence Price. So she kind of um, ran double duty for me because she's a Black American. She was a Black American. And so I was playing some of her music last month for Black History Month. And now here she is as a woman composer. So I'm delighted to share her beautiful music. I really feel like it comes out of the, um, especially that opening theme, it really feels like some kind of a you know, a hymn or a spiritual. Um, so I, I enjoyed that. And then her, her contrasting sections in that piece, the B section really feels like a touch of Chopin and the C section really feels like a bit of Schumann. So it was um, interesting and, you know, a short piece of music to kind of have all these influences on her. Then Caroline Shaw, I don't know, you may have noticed that there was a Chopin mazurka in the middle of the piece. Um, so her piece was called Gustav, is called Gustav Le Gray, who was, 
And Gustave Le Gray was a photographer in the very, 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 very early days of photography, like late 19th century. And so my feeling is that she uses her repeated notes as a distillation of Chopin's mazurka, which also starts with kind of repeated chords. So as a photographer, Gustave Le Gray probably, he was working in dark rooms where an image slowly comes into existence and then can fade away with the chemicals. So that's my kind of interpretation of how that Chopin mazurka is in the middle of the piece. And then she uh, takes on some of the motives that Chopin used. Uh, Pia Müller Johansson as a Norwegian composer. I really like her music a lot. Um, it's very similar to many of you probably know Eric Satie's Gymnopedies. So this piece sounds kind of um, similar to that. And I like that style. And then of course we mentioned Maria Hester Park with Eitan. Then we have Fanny and Sofia Gobadulina. Uh, my coach says that she's probably the best Russian composer post Shostakovich. So we don't hear her name very often, but um, so it's kind of fun to explore her music. And then lastly, S Ethel Smith. She has kind of an interesting backstory. She went on her father, who was, I think, uh, in the, you know, in the military and she's an English composer. Um, so he was probably some kind of general or something. He really didn't want her to study music and to be a composer. And she went on a hunger strike and refused to speak and won her way and ended up at the Leipzig Conservatory. So I, <laughs> I hope that that's not true of young women today that um, that they can somehow explore their passions and and not have to um, go to such drastic measures to convince those around them to that they really are serious about pursuing their goals. The other thing is that she was a um, she's also English and a suffragette a suffragist and wrote, uh, I think she was in um, she's kind of a fighting kind of person because she also um, was in, uh, I think she was in prison for a while for some of her protesting for women to get the vote and wrote um, a piece called March of the Women. So <laughs> it's the, not the most sophisticated piece of music, but um, I figured that it would be interesting to include her music and uh, get to know a little bit about her. Uh, so, especially during this month where we're focusing on this. <laughs> so. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks. Okay, so see you next time. Thanks.